In this demonstration, I'm going to show you a cool new text effect inside of After Effects 7. Okay, as you can see, the text comes in and per character blurs into focus. Very cool. Now, I've also added a lens flare on top of it just to kind of give it a little more flavor. Let's get started. I have a blank composition here. I'm going to take the text tool, click in the center of the area, and I'm going to type My Movie. Okay? And just uh, center this a little bit better. Next thing I'm going to do is set up the animation properties. So I'm going to scroll down, and I'm going to give myself a little bit more room here. I'm going to go to the text properties and add an animate operator. I'm going to add a scale. I'm going to add to this animate operator a property that is the opacity as well as the fancy new blur that you'll notice right here. Okay. I'm going to scale it up maybe 300%. As you can see, it kind of scales, scales up our text. I am going to bring the opacity down to 10%. And I'm going to blur it out, say, 100. So the next thing I'm going to do is set a keyframe for the range selector. Basically what the range selector is, it kind of sets where the animation starts and where it ends on your text. Also in the options, we can set the grouping alignment to be centered. So instead of it being kind of top-heavy, we can change the y-axis to be negative 50% so that our animation comes across the center. Also, if we turn the blur down temporarily, you'll see that the text kind of bunches together as it is being zoomed in. So what we want to do is change the anchor point grouping to a line, and that way it kind of spreads them out. I'm going to go ahead and switch these uh, effects back on. I'm going to change the blur back to 100, and I'm going to bring the opacity down to 0. Okay, the next thing we have to do is actually animate the offset so that our animation kind of comes into play. So Let's go ahead and change the offset to plus 100 and turn on the stopwatch to set a keyframe, move forward to about a second and a half, and bring this down to negative 100. Now, what's going to happen is it's going to animate out and then it's going to animate back in, but we're going to go ahead to the advanced area and we're going to set this to the shape of a ramp down. And what that's going to do is bring it in kind of slowly, but the offset will finish completely, so it won't come back and zoom out. So let's go ahead and set a few things up. As you can see during the animation, it seems to be a little abrupt when it gets to the low position uh, at the end of the animation for each character. So we're going to slow that down on the ease low and make this, say, 90%. And let's go and preview that. Okay, so as you can see, it kind of comes in fast and then slows to a nice ease as it finishes. We can also bring the zoom up. Um, I'm going to hit the space bar to the hand tool to drag down here. I'm going to scale it up even more to, say, 400% and preview that. Okay, let's go ahead and add a few of those enhancements that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to make a new solid, and I'm going to make it kind of a medium dark blue, like maybe right there. And I'm just going to drag this and put it below my My Movie effect. I'm going to make another new solid, this time a black one. And I'm going to put this right over the blue layer. I'm going to select the elliptical mask tool and double click on it. And it'll add a mask to my black layer. I'm going to hit the letter F to bring up the feather properties. I'm going to feather it, you know, maybe 100 and, you know, 150. And then I'm going to take the mask property and subtract it. So that is just a vignette around the edges. Also, I'm going to make a new solid for the lens flare, a black solid, and I'm going to go Effect, Generate, Lens Flare. I'm going to change it to the 105 millimeter Prime Lens Flare. Zoom out here, and I'm going to change the mode on the Lens Flare layer to Add. And let's go ahead and hit Enter, or Return on the keyboard, and type Lens Flare to keep track of these things. And I'll call this Mask and background. Okay, um, Back to the lens flare layer and I'm going to select the name lens flare and the monitor operator will show up and that's this little thing. I'm going to move this over to the far left, set it right here just off the frame. I'm going to turn on the stopwatch for the flare center. If we just move that over that's flare center. I'm going to hit U to bring up the keyframe to properties for this layer. Move forward to about 
second and a half or right after the end of the animation, I'm going to grab this little lens flare operator, hold down shift uh, so that it stays horizontal the whole time and just move it just off frame. As you can see, it just flies off. And then I'm going to select the flare center name, hit F9 to add easy ease keyframes to each of these. You can also select them individually, right click, keyframe assistance, easy ease. Next thing we're going to do is change the my movie effect and make that also add so that when it comes in, if I shut the lens flare off, you see it kind of blends with the background a little bit better and kind of gives it a kind of a hotter effect. So anyway, with that lens flare on, I'm going to go ahead and preview it. I hope uh, you find this tutorial useful and thanks for watching.